Okay, guys. So it is February 8th already. So we have, what, 20 days left. Um, as far as Team Cup for me, I think that it's going to be awesome if we all kind of share what our daily goal numbers are. And the cool thing is, Marilla, the other two girls or the other girl that you have in here right now, is she in Dash to Diamond? Uh, um, no, she's not. Okay, yeah. Okay, she's so just her drink right now. Okay, <laughs> neither is Bridget. Okay, so yeah. the fact that now there's three of us, so it's you, Hannah, and I are all in Dash to Diamond. And we have Bridget and... Uh, What's her name? Oh, uh, Madeline. Madeline. Okay. I don't yeah. know. Sorry, it's so loud in here. <laughs> no, no, you do your thing. You're fine. Um, okay, so Madeline, Hannah, Marilla, and Bridget. Awesome. So this is what I think that we should all do, in my opinion, and everybody can kind of like do their own thing in their own way, but in some way, shape, or form, just tracking our numbers, guys, it's so, so important. But more than that, being able to hold each other accountable to it. So just kind of saying like, okay this is what I'm doing now. And I know that this is what I could be doing if I was being productive. So this is my goal. How about we just text each other like a screenshot every night and like actually show each yeah. other. Um, so like team cup totally said our goals enough should already be to hit success club. Um, I think we should all be sh striving for success club 10 anyway. It's five people just, you know, why stop at just covering your shake and stuff? It should be, you know, striving now to cover your shake, but also makes money. Um, so I'm sure Marilla and Hannah, at least you guys have like that diamond tracker printed out. So you are pushing for coaches. You're pushing for success club. The same thing then for uh, Bridget and Madeline, who are also here with us too. If you guys want to print out that diamond tracker, I think it'd be awesome. Just when you actually see that it's literally only eight people, it doesn't seem like overwhelming. Um, so I think that that is a huge I don't know, just like incentive, just to look at it and you see it's like eight lines. I just need to find eight human beings out of the eight billion people that are on this planet. So not hard, guys, right? When you just tell yourself, I've done it. I just now have to actually get there. Like when you just believe like I've already, I'm already hitting success club 10 or success club 20 or whatever it is, then you will do whatever it takes. But you have to decide that goal is non-negotiable first and you're willing to do whatever it takes, okay? So- um, my suggestion would be we all print out some form of accountability tracker. There should just be knowing in general, like just, you know, being in either the dash to diamond or just being in a new coach training or just already having gone through all of it, vital behaviors, just sharing stuff like we all were, always are just keeping it simple to share with them what you're doing and just push yourself a little bit harder this month. It's a shorter month, you know, so the days are going to go by pretty quickly. February can be kind of lonely. I get it. So not only do you probably all have an accountability group that you're running, dive into it, post about it, dive into now this little group, you know, post about it. Be like, how cool is it that in so many different aspects and so many different goals that I'm striving toward, I have either a large group of people cheering me on or I have a small intimate group of people cheering me on. Like, how cool is that? Like, we don't really get this in anything else that we do. So Hannah, since this is your first time being in a team cup, we're all just striving for success club. That's all it is. Team cup is just when you get together five people, you have to have at least one diamond. And all you do is your entire success club points are then combined as like a team. And then you can win a prize. So there's different tiers. And then out of the entire company, there's always, there's always going to be one team that has the most success club points and they actually get flown out to California and they get to like spend a whole day in headquarters and they get this huge trophy. Like it's ginormous. They get their names and like their team name, like plaqued on it. It's really cool for us. Um, I just want to get to like at least tier two. I definitely want to strive for like three or four. I always hit tier one. Like that's not hard. I think it's 20 points between like the five of us. Like that's not hard whatsoever. That's literally two points each. Okay. We're all going to win a prize anyway, but I think like the last, and just kind of like little stuff. So let's like kind of go for tier two or tier three. So whatever your goal is, I would make success club 10 minimum. Even if it wasn't team cup, always make that your minimum. So break it down. Just kind of ask yourself, okay, so if I know that it takes me about 30 to 40 invites to get one to two people to join, especially if you're newer, you know, it's going to take a little bit more just because you haven't built that trust yet. 
Um, people are watching you, but they haven't been watching you long enough. Now, for Marilla and I, because we've been here now for a couple of years, it's a little bit different. It might not take that 30 to 40 invites to actually get somebody to join, all right? But just don't wait till the last minute. I always think, how do I want to feel at the end of the month? I want to feel laughing awesome. I want to feel like I hit Success Club and I did more than that. I brought all of these awesome people into this business. So for me, I know that I am here to help people, but I can just be motivated by hitting a Success Club number. Some people aren't motivated by a number. Instead, they're motivated by, I need to change a life. I need to have a conversation with a human being today about something personal. Make that then your goal. And then tally mark off, I've started 15 genuine conversations today. Like make that your goal. But again, guys, we all know what the daily to-dos are. So in my opinion, there's going to be one training video right now that I would highly encourage everybody to watch between now and like Sunday so we can all actually start scheduling power hours to do throughout the week. Ashley Feldison's team call from the Boom Fan. Gosh, you just hit number 19 in the company, okay? Girlfriend's doing something right. And all it is is she's inviting. She's inviting. Where everybody else is spending time posting these like five paragraph posts, myself included, Ashley posts five sentences, okay? Whereas Ashley is not spending so much time focusing on a graphic, like I know I do, she instead is inviting 15 more people than I am, right? So we just have to think, there's nothing differently than anybody else is doing, they're just talking to more people. And just, I really liked the Dash and Diamond training call today. I was like, oh, another Instagram call, like I've already heard this a thousand times. But I thought hers was so cool. I loved it. it. was like, I started just so many conversations today just being like, oh my God, I love that you love craft beer or I love your cat or, oh my God, I love that you live out of a van or that you live in a bungalow, whatever it was. I just had so much fun just starting conversations with people. And then the best part when she's like, and then it just goes from, we'll talk about a wedding planning to, hey girl, are you on a health and fitness, fitness routine? Or we're talking about coffee one second and then two seconds later, I just invite her. Right? I love that she just said that there's never the right time, but at least connect on one or two things before you just go for the invite, but don't wait for them, guys. Don't wait for people. It's one thing she was saying. If you think about it, she's what, been here for four years? She's only a star diamond coach? Don't let things like that intimidate you, all right? So when you think about it this way, Ashley Faudison has been here for like two and a half years, and she's like a seven, eight star combined, right? You at any point, doesn't matter when you signed up, you can decide to run with this, sit down, get clear, focused, and just run. All right. So commit to your program, share it every single day. Just be excited. That's the one thing I would say that if there was anything that I see sometimes in conversations that might turn people off is you have to be so excited about it. When you are, then that cost just kind of like, I get all of that. And all of your energy for once, that's it for the year, 170? When you're like, yeah, so it's like this thing and like, we'll hold each other accountable. Just be like, oh my God, girl, it's so awesome. Like, this has changed my life and I've only been here for a couple of months. Like, I can't wait for you to be a part of this. Just lead with that and do it every day. Strive for no's, okay? So I love that she had given that whole out. It's like, hey, totally not cool if you're not interested or no clue at all if you would ever be interested in this, but I'm hosting this, you know, online fitness challenge and I thought that you'd be a great fit. You know, would you be interested to peek it or something along those lines? It's just, we all know what to do. We just got to 10 exit. That's all we got to do is 10 exit. So this is an idea that we could do is we could all read or listen to the same personal development and our little group chat, just kind of share a takeaway. Um, I thought that a good book that could kind of work, and again, just like one to two pages a day, especially with this one, you don't need to read that many. It's called the 10X Rule, only because the entire book is on YouTube. So you could lit it for free. The entire book is on YouTube for free, so you actually don't have to read it. I, the first time I literally listened to the entire book, I cleaned my dishes, I did laundry, I cleaned the house, I had my headphones in. It was just his energy just made me want to run with it. Um, and that was when I literally had my best four months in a row was when I was listening to the 10 X rule every single morning. 
Now, don't get me wrong. I love to jam out to music. When I'm doing a power hour, I can't listen to PD. It bores me. I'm going to be honest. I need jams. I need to like feel like I'm pumped up and I'm excited and whatever. But when I'm drinking coffee or in the car, personal development, it's too easy not to do it. So I'll, I guess, why don't we just do this? Why don't we all share what our goals are personally, um, personally, and then share a push goal for like our group. So personally, my goal is I want to hit success club 10 for myself and Ben. I did it last month. So I know I can do it again this month. So now this month I want to do t uh, 12 for myself and 10 for Ben. So I want to get one more person I did last month. Um, and I know that I want to get Ben back to diamond at the end of the month because he fell obviously. Um, and I want to get my mom at least halfway to diamond. My mom has like maybe four coaches underneath her. So it's nothing significant. Um, but she has you Hannah, which is super awesome. But my mom doesn't get any of that credit unless my mom is in a certain rank before you hit the rank. So I'm like, you and I are literally like racing each other right now. So yes, that's awesome. I love that. So Marilla, what are your goals as far as just personally in your business? And then like a little push goal for this. Yeah, so um, my goal was kind of the same as yours last month to get 10 in mine and 10 in Jason's. Um, I got 10 in mine, just not 10 in his. What so, did you get in Jason's? Say what? What did you get in Jason's? Um, zero. <laughs> okay, so this is something that Amy shared with me. So I actually got myself to Success Club 6 first, and then everything okay. else I put under Ben until I got him to 10. Okay. Um, and then I went to me. Okay. I went back to me then. Yeah, I was starting to do that. Like, I would send share cards until I got to six, and then a couple other people, like, they were either signing up as coaches or, anyway, just where I was okay. placing her. How it worked and stuff. Anyway, that was just how it worked. So, um, I did sign up a coach under him this month. So, Yay. he will have a few points. Yay! <laughs> So, um, and I'm at four right now, uh, but yeah, so 10 on mine at least. And then, and like you said, start with just success club on mine and then move it all to Jason's. And yeah. then I'm still, um, solidifying my diamond ring. So right now I'm just, um, putting a couple more coaches under Jason, a couple more under my mom. And then from there, like building up Jason so I can get him to diamond like ASAP. So. Awesome. It's, I've got like three active ones on either side of him, and then I've got um, my dad and another coach on my mom's. So anyway, building them up, making them solid, and um, and then I do have uh, my coach Shiloh Johnson. She's in uh, the dash, yeah. and so she's she's just Emerald right now. So also just helping her sign up coaches in advance too. So. Mm -hmm. What does Shiloh do? She's a stay-at-home mom. Um, how old is she? Um, she's a few years older than me. I think she's like 27 or 28. I feel like her personality matches really well with Hannah. Yeah. Um, Shiloh just seems really nice. She's been a coach for how long? Um, since like September or October. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is she just an Emerald? Does she have any more coaches than two? She's just Emerald, and she doesn't have, like, a spouse under her yet. It's just okay. two, two of her girls, so. Okay. Um, get the spouse on board. He's still working on it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it happens. Um, mm -hmm. Well, it could be cool, though, because Hannah actually just got her boyfriend to sign up with her, Taylor. Um, and she's actually been an awesome challenger since April. So, like, been around for, like, a while, as far as, like, building the business and whatnot. Um, but I guess for success for – team cup this month we're probably gonna want to put as much as we can in our account it's kind of like <laughs> eh, hard because we make a little bit yeah. more if we put it under them um mm. but i think that we should all aim for success club and whatever in our own business centers okay mm -hmm. what's cool yeah. for all of us is that our significant others are on our weak leg so let's just get to success <laughs> first <laughs> yep let's get to success club first see how that works um or see how quickly we all get there. Um, let's just continue to do like, let's aim for at least two power hours 
Um, I know Marilla, you and I can probably do a little bit more together because our flex, our schedules aren't too crazy. What's your new work schedule like? Um, eight to five, Monday through Friday. Okay. Which congratulations? I forgot to tell you about that. So like, oh, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Hopefully, it's just temporary. <laughs> Wait, but you were excited fun. about it. Um, I mean, the bills, and you know. I wanted so that's why we're so yep. Okay, I'm kind of losing oh. you. Okay. okay. Yeah, the thing just got home, so I think it's like trying to Wi Fi or something. Oh yeah, no, that happened. Sorry, I'm all um okay, so obviously hitting success club, so let's just say like ten for me, ten for you, and now Hannah, I'm gonna unmute you too. Other than I'm trying to, I guess you're going to meet yourself. There we go. Um, how about a personal goal as far as My goal goes? is five okay. because I haven't, I haven't got that yet. And then um, out of the five, I would like to sign up one as a coach. Awesome. I love it. So writing that down, just like we were talking about in our challenge group, like seeing that goal every day. So yeah. like even in, not that I have hit it yet, but. It's so like in the bottom of my planner for the week, I have like six for me and I think it was two for Ben. So just okay. seeing it, I'll be honest and say that sometimes I was that person. I'm like, in my head, I know that the goal is there, but I don't want to see it out because what if I don't hit it and it's going to be feel bad. No, <laughs> I realized that that's, I, I did that for the past like seven months of 2017 and that didn't get me anywhere. When I kept seeing my goal, I looked back at April, May, and June, which were my best months. And I hit success club 25 plus all three of those months. And I literally haven't been able, last month was the first month I've hit 20 since June. And just because I'm getting in my own head, I'm literally just getting in my own head and I'm comparing myself to everybody and just whatever. So and Marilla, I know that you can feel me on this too. Like we signed up about the same time and just like, I'm so effing tired of sitting at diamond and one star, it's just like, uh, um, but it all comes to us first. It just comes to us and we're excited as hell about it. And we're talking about it every day. And I think that, I don't know. I just think that if we guys do, if we do power hours together, it's going to be fun. I need evening power hours. So if you guys are into that, like I totally, that's what I was saying to Ben it, during the day, I'm fine. But it's like after 5 PM, I just like, I don't do anything. And I used to work until 11 o'clock all the time. You know, I used to do it all the time. And then I was just like, uh, well, I made it to the beach. What? I hit one goal and we're stopping. No. So I'm excited. I, I think that Hannah and I've been talking about this and I've been kind of a flake. So I think that if we actually all sit down, I'm less likely to bail on one person. It's a bad trait. I'm not a proud of my characteristic of, of flaking. I hate it. I hate that I do it. Please know that just me being a weird introvert. Um, it's nothing personal. So why don't we do that? Why don't Sunday when I get back, we kind of all share like what our goals are. I'll write them out and then bring together like bring three to four days and times that work for you. So that way we're not like having to go back and forth. We can just all be like, okay, it looks like Wednesdays and Fridays work great. And it looks like maybe five to six works best. Marilla, your West Coast. Yes, West okay. Coast. So three hours. And Madeline is um, mountain time, so she's two hours behind you. Okay, okay. So, okay, so that's not too bad. So you're ideally going to want to do like six your time though, right? Um, yeah, so usually when I come home, I'll take my Energize and I work out because I do the evening workout block. Um, so if you had like one that was like five, 5.30 to 6.30, that could be good. So, or, or if you want to do it. Sorry? 8.30 to 9.30 then for us, Eastern time. Yeah. Okay, dude, Definitely. I'm totally into that. I just want to be like computer closed down and off social media at 10 o'clock. Okay. Like that's my jam. So that gives me 30 minutes then to just kind of like wrap everything up, plan for anything for the next day. So I think that works. Um, and then Hannah, same thing. Like if you want to hop on, um, if not, I'm going to try to post as many power hours as I can throughout the week since I do get to do this a little bit full time, but I'm going to be honest. 
I'm nanny next week and the week after that, Tuesday through Friday, morning and evening. So I nanny from 4.30 a.m. to like 8.30 a.m. And then I had to pick her up at school at 2.30 to like 7.30. So that's Tuesday through Friday for the next two weeks. So I'm going to be tired with you guys. I'm right there with you. Just focusing on the bigger goal. Just always remind yourself, like, am I going to think about February of 2018 when I'm living my dream life three or not even that, two to three years from now? No, you're not. You're going to be like, I have no idea how I did that stuff back then, but look at where I am now. That's the goal, right? All right, guys. So why don't we do this? Why don't we just, um, I have a call Sunday at 8. Why don't we do something around 8.30? Sure. So, like, it'll be 5.30 for you, Marilla. Yeah. And it'll be 6.30 for Madeline. Yeah, that should be fine. Do you want to text Madeline? Or I guess I'll just post this recording to our little team page. Okay. She for Sunday, yeah. like, 8.30 to 9.30. Um, to be honest, what I'll probably do in that time is just schedule all of my posts for my business page and my and our group panel that we're running. Um, just so then that was already done and over with during the day. And just, I guess if anybody has like anything that they want to bring to that little chat Sunday night too, just as far as like, what are you doing? That's helping you prepare for the week on the weekend. Like, I think that's a huge thing that a lot of coaches don't talk about enough. It's like, I get what you're doing in a power hour. I can listen to a million team calls. I know what all the coaches are doing, but what are you doing during the week or the weekend? that's saving you time during the week that when you do that power hour, you're not posting in a group, you're not tally marking who participated or whatever. Um, and I know for me that it's when I can post all of my challenge group or schedule all of them on the weekend, I can make all my workout videos, meal plans done. Like those are all really big incentives too. Um, and it's also a really nice thing, just a quick side note and I'll let you guys all go is if you are showing people why you're meal planning more than just for your fitness program, but you're doing it because you work a full-time job and you're creating a side hustle, how much time does it save you having meals already cooked? No, it's not maybe as great as making that home cooked meal that night, but maybe two to three nights out of the week, if you already had something pre-made, just two to three nights out of the, four, the seven that there are, that's going to make a difference you know, in the next two years of what you're doing every day. All right. Does anybody else have anything that they want to add? Let's just kick some ass. Yeah, pretty much. Just yeah. go forward and crush those goals because, I mean, we only have now. Don't have tomorrow. So, okay, we do, but, like, you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I know. Like, I want to say. It's like trying to make it profound. So, it's so like. <laughs> heavy when you say but we don't have tomorrow i'm like are you gonna murder me like what's happening tonight or like it's not, yeah or like it's not guaranteed anyway that's what people always say but anyway so, fun fact marilla i don't remember this but we were on the my first ever team cup was you and yeah maybe who else was on our team was it amy on there too Brittany dimmick i don't know do you remember her yeah. For like a hot minute. Does she still coach? I, I don't know. I, don't I see so. her on Facebook. She's okay. pregnant right now, I think. But, no. yeah. I don't think she's still coaching. And I want to yeah. see the coach I signed up under originally, Chrissy, might have been on our team. Oh, yeah. But she didn't get on this chat. Not surprised. I mean, she literally quit a couple weeks after I signed up. Um, but she didn't get, like, on our <laughs> chat or anything. Um, but we did win the first prize though. If you remember that, that was like two years ago. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. Um, but let's just win a prize. Even if it's just to be like, to post it in your stories to say, how cool is this? Something, a goal I'm already striving for every single month anyway. I'm now getting an extra incentive to strive for it. Just like more prizes. It's insane. It's crazy. So just have fun with it. At the end of the day, have fun. If you're like, uh, I don't know if I should invite, just compliment her. Literally just comment about something that you see on our page and start a conversation if you're that afraid to invite. 
because that natural conversation, it's going to lead into an invite anyway. And wish me luck because my introvert self is literally having a panic attack about going to LA tomorrow. Like I'm freaking the F out right now. Oh, Marilla, I wish that you were going. I know. Uh, I know. I'll be there next year. I, I'm kind well, of upset that I couldn't make it this year, but oh well. Okay. <laughs> so you'll next year. Next year, duh. Yeah. Hannah, you'll be there. So leadership, you get invited, I guess just once. I didn't, I didn't realize that. So like, um, it's one of those things where I always think my coach Amy is going to be there <laughs> to like walk me through things. And she's like, yeah, no, I was already invited. I don't, I don't get to go again. I was like, well, what, what do I do then? Like, if you're not there, who do I talk to and hang out? With? It's like, it's called making friends. She literally texted me and she goes, <laughs> I know that you're a total homebody, but I don't want you to go to your hotel after the event and go to bed. It's like, please go out and socialize. Yeah. Like you don't have to drink, just like go out and socialize with people. I'm like, <sighs> getting a panic attack. But oh gosh. I'm excited to send you guys a bunch of stuff and ideas and I'll make sure to like just keep our little chat alive, okay? Sounds good. All right, guys. Have a good night. I love you all. See you Sunday. Good night. Have fun.